Hi all and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to see top 10 data analytics certification that we can complete in 2024 and which are still relevant and is still going to be relevant in 2025 to advance our data analytics career. The first certification that we are going to see is Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. So this is a professional certificate which consists of eight courses. This is provided by Google in association with Coursera. I would recommend this certification for beginners and it would take us around six months to complete if we complete 10 hours a week. But for a person with experience in data analytics, it would take only less time to complete. I would say we can complete it around three months and the course can be reduced of completing the certification because uh, in Coursera actually they charge us for the time period we are registering in Coursera. So actually we can uh, reduce the cost of completing the certificate if we complete it in three months. We can have a flexible schedule to complete the certification. So after completing the certificate, we will get a shareable certificate and a Google badge, which we can share in LinkedIn on our resume or whichever platform we are applying for jobs. Now coming down, uh, these are the skills that we are going to cover in the certification, which are SQL, then uh, spreadsheet, then tablet certificate, uh, sorry, Tableau software, then things like data aggregation, data calculation, then R programming and R studio we are going to see in this certification, then things like sample size determination, decision making, problem solving, then asking questions, getting answers, then type of questions to ask uh, for data analysis and lot of soft skills also we are going to cover in this certificate. So I would recommend this strongly for people who have little to no experience in data analytics. So it would be a good starting for such people. The second certification that we are going to see is Google Advanced Data Analytics Professional Certification. So this is an advanced version of the previous Google Data Analytics Professional Certification. Even though it is mentioned that it is advanced, uh, I would say for people who have some experience with data analytics, this is not going to be an advanced level certification but mostly an intermediate level certification because uh, we are not going to learn everything related to data analytics in this certification. But compared to the previous Google data analytics certification, we will learn more techniques like regression modeling, machine learning, then statistical modeling, uh, Jupyter notebook, Python programming, data visualization. Then we will go through Kaggle platform, then uh, exploratory data analysis. So similar techniques which are not covered in the previous Google Data Analytics certification is covered in this Advanced Data Analytics Professional Certification. Uh, this would also take us around six months to complete if we complete it around 10 hours a week. But um, for people who have experience in data analytics, we can actually complete it in less time. This is a seven course series. The previous data analytics certification was a eight course series. And uh, following are the courses which we have to complete for the certification. Also. Uh, after completing each of these courses, we will be given a certification, a certificate and also a batch which we can share on LinkedIn. And the cost is dependent mostly on the time we take to complete the certification because uh, as I said, uh, Coursera will charge us for monthly subscription. So if we complete it in uh, two or three months, it would cost us less. And if we take six months to complete, it would cost us more. But I would say, uh, for people trying to get into data analytics or having some experience in data analytics, taking either of this Google Advanced Data Analytics Professional Certificate or Google Advanced, sorry, Google Data Analytics Certificate would be an added advantage. Now, the third certification, which is provided by Microsoft. That is the Microsoft Certified Power BI Data Analyst Associate Certification. So this certificate is for people who are working in Power BI and people who wanted to work in Power BI. This is not a simple exam to pass. Uh, it is a bit complex and I would suggest only experienced, pe experienced people take the certification because uh, we will get a lot of complex questions and complex tricky cases in the certification which we can solve only if we have real time experience in Power BI. And following are the skills measured in this certification, which are preparing data, modeling data in Power BI, visualizing and analyzing data in Power BI, deploying and maintaining assets in Power BI. 
and the exam code is PL300. Uh, in order to complete this certification, we should have a good idea in DAX and Power Query. There are two ways to prepare for this certification. One is a self-paced path and the second one is an instructor-led path. Taking self-paced path, uh, actually this is absolutely free. There are uh, multiple courses which we can complete in our own pace. And uh, going th through these courses before exam is pretty good. And I would say for experienced people, uh, going through this course in depth would be enough to pass the certification. And for beginners, I wouldn't suggest going through these courses and simply taking exam. That would simply waste your money. There are courses available uh, in platforms like Udemy, LinkedIn and all, which we can take to pass the certification. Also, there are question dumps available, uh, which consist of previously asked questions and all. That will also help us pass this exam. And the course to complete the certification is around 165 USD, uh, but uh, for Indians, it's little bit less. It's around 4,800 rupees, uh, which is around $67, 67 or $68, I think. Now let us change it to India and see what is the exact cost. Yeah. So it is around 4,800 Indian rupees. The fourth certification is related to Tableau, which is Tableau Desktop Specialist Certification. So this is for people who have some experience with Tableau. This certification will cost us around $100, which is around uh, 8,500 rupees. And the skills which are measured in this exam are, uh, let us go down and here the skills are mentioned. Yeah, these are the skills measured in the exam. That is connecting to and preparing data, exploring and analyzing data, sharing insights, understanding Tableau concept. So consider if a person is having some two to three years of experience working in Tableau, for such a person, it would be pretty easy to crack the Tableau desktop specialist exam. So for people who have less experience in Tableau, I would recommend taking some additional courses and solving as many questions as you can to pass this exam. This is also a very competitive certification which we can project in resume, LinkedIn and all other relevant platforms. The next certification is an advanced Tableau certification, which is the Tableau certified data analyst. So this certification is mostly for people who have extensive experience working in Tableau. Uh, let us say more than five years. So such people can easily crack this exam. And for other people, it would be would take more effort to crack this exam. Going down, we can see that the exam fee is around two hundred and fifty dollars. Now preparing for this exam, the skills which are measured for this exam is connecting to and transforming data, exploring and analyzing data, creating content, publish and manage content on Tableau server and Tableau cloud. This is a bit advanced compared to what we have to learn for the Tableau desktop specialist exam. So this is the Tableau desktop specialist exam and for Tableau certified data analyst, we have to go through these contents mainly. The next certification that we are going to see is IBM Data Analytics Professional Certificate. So this certification is similar to uh, Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate and the Google Advanced Data Analytics Professional Certificate. So this is in collaboration with IBM and this certificate is provided by IBM. So this is a four month course plus Cape Strong project and hands-on activities. If we complete it, at a pace of 10 hours a week and this is mainly focused on beginners and it would be a it will be a nine course series and we have to complete all these nine courses to achieve this certification and through this certification uh, we will gain the following skills which are uh, sql then spreadsheet python programming then we will go through uh, ibm cognos analytics then libraries like numpy and pandas in python this is similar to Google Data Analytics Professional Certification. The main difference is that in that certification, we go through R instead of Python, but here actually we go through Python instead of R. Both are used for data analysis. And the courses which we have to complete are 
the following courses uh, we will learn about excel then introduction to data analytics data visualization and concept other dashboarding concepts then python then python project for data analysis then sql databases then again data analysis with python then data visualization with python and finally a capstone project which we can project as a portfolio project so these are the nine courses which you have to complete for the certification uh, i would suggest this certification for people who are looking to complete a certification which is more focused on python rather than sql or r studio or r programming and this also cost us depending upon the time we take to complete the certification so the sooner we complete the certification it would cost us less the next certification is dp900 microsoft azure data fundamentals this is a azure certification but even though it is an azure certification i would say people who are in data analytics who are working in whatever platform can take the certification because this is a basic certification which mainly deals with core analytic concepts like relational and non-relational data different types of data workloads such as transactional analytical data then uh, types of database schemas then the different tools which we have to take into account when we are dealing with structured data and structured data then things like uh, blob storage then what is a pipeline all those things we will learn through the certification this would cost us around 99 dollars anybody who is interested in data analytics can take some courses and go through some questions and crack this exam this is not a very tough exam to crack there are two ways to prepare for this exam which is self-paced and instructor-led uh, i think for preparing for this exam self-paced path should be fine because uh, this is these paths are pretty good i have gone through this path personally uh, we can easily crack the exam after going through this path our next certification is AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals so this is very similar to DP900 which is Microsoft Azure Data Fundamentals but there are slight difference uh, this is more concentrated, concentrated towards Azure platform rather than core data analytics concept but there are a lot of overlapping concepts comparing both the certification so this is also a not very uh, tough certification to crack this is also pretty easy to crack and the cost of completing this certification is same as the previous one it is 99 dollars uh, this would be would be good for people who have just started working in azure platform and there are two ways to prepare for this exam which are self-paced and instructor-led uh, for this certification also completing the self-paced path should be pretty good to complete the certification then our ninth certification is the google analytics individual qualification certification and this is a free certification which does not cost us a penny we can complete the two absolutely free courses which are google analytics for beginners and advanced google analytics and after completing these courses we can directly go and take this exam which is google analytics individual qualification exam and we can pass the exam now moving on to our final certification which is the data analysis with python certification provided by free code camp this is also an absolutely free certification this certification is mainly focused on solving problems using python in data analysis so these are the courses which will we will go through the certification that is introduction to data analysis then uh, what is a jupyter notebook examples of data analysis then we'll go through libraries like numphy then pandas then cleaning data reading data then in de detail explanation of numphy data analysis with python project we will be completing then finally we will be able to gain the certification this is also a valuable certification because we are going to get a we are going to get lots of hands-on experience completing this certification because only completing the hands-on sessions we will be able to gain the certification so, so these are the top 10 certifications that i would suggest you take in 2024 so that you can advance your data analysis career thanks for watching and if you like the video subscribe our channel thank you